questionable too, too much. Uh, I want to talk about skill-based matchmaking and oh, how huh? it's oh, huh? it, it, it's very possible that we actually might see it toned down. Now, here's... Impossible. Impossible. Never gonna happen. Not true at all. It's a fan fiction. It's an urban legend. I can see zero reality where this is a possibility. It's not gonna happen till the blue hair people at Activision are gone. Just simply put, it's never gonna happen. Just like how you are promoting this retard helmet to your fan base. Simply put, uh, they also want to have skill-based mastering in Call of Duty. Smash the like button if you hate skill-based mastering, and that should be gone though. Dislike the video if you love skill-based mastering though. The thing. I, see where uh, I don't want to give you guys false hope. I, I talked about this in a video about three weeks ago, and it was uh, saying that Microsoft, with the purchase of Activision, probably is going to do something about skill-based matchmaking because the system just isn't working. There are very few people. Let, let me tell you, man, the system might not be working, but the... It is working. Suckers are buying the microtransactions. Suckers are getting lit right now. Suckers are shoving that right up their bum hole. Suckers, I mean, listen, Activision's doing helicopters. Xbox now gonna be doing helicopters with their release. Bro, I'm telling you, man, they are sucking every single one of them dry right now. With microtransactions, with the amount of skill-based matchmaking points they are garnering from the cries of yours and cries of every Call of Duty fanboy, every Call of Duty refugee, every Call of Duty beta testers. Simply put, it just makes them too much money, too much money, too much money. But one day, I there's a dream though. I, I get it though. There, there's a dream. One day, I, I have a dream that one day we will get rid of skill-based matchmaking and that my community will be able to play Call of Duty free of skill-based matchmaking. Like the video if you hope that dream comes true one day, but you know the, the chances are very slim. But under Phil Spencer regime, maybe. People out there that are actually in support of skill-based matchmaking, and those people are usually god-awful. Like, but see, here's the thing. The god-awful players, I mean, they don't care how they do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, true, the ones true, that don't true. know about it, Skill-based matchmaking, I mean, they, they don't care how they do. They just want to light a blunt and go like 8 and 20 and unlock a few camos. Yeah. That's what I Yeah, th those are the, the same people that are growing Nesquik in the backyard. And those are the same people that are like, I, I know this is going to be like weird. Like I'm, I'm adding like two analogies in one, but guys, let me just run through right now. Okay, let me just go in. I'll uh, go all in, but still be half in, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. But But here's the thing, right? It's like calling dominoes and asking for P pizza hut's number you feel what i'm saying like like what? bruh it's one of those things right like the, these things don't even care though they're like hello dominoes uh, can you give me uh pizza hut's number Th that's yeah yeah exactly guys exactly Understand about this this game doesn't know what it wants to be if it wants bruh. to be this competitive skill-based matchmaking <laughs> shooter then give me a visible rank uh balance the entire game around <laughs> like the top meta the, the best players balance the whole game around the competitive meta you know, uh, don't have these stupid challenges to unlock stuff. Give me stuff immediately. Like, make it make it competitive. I don't want to hear bow, 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 in my ear every time I, I do a challenge when I'm listening for footsteps. What do you want to do? Like, the game has no clear, concrete <laughs> identity on what oh it actually wants to be. That's my biggest complaint. If you want SBMM yeah. in, give me something to play for. Give me a visible rank. Balance the game accordingly. You know what I mean? Also, I can't believe I just missed that guy. Wow. I really can't see shit on this map when I play it. Some things never change. I couldn't see anything on the arena. Man, Call of Duty fans are the only... This is the only species that, like, complains about everything. Plays the game. <laughs> that is crazy, man. This is the first year I, I, I feel kind of good, like, breaking the Call of Duty cycle. But, you know, man, next year, like, I kind of am... I'm still hopeful for the next year's game. I do believe that Treyarch is gonna revive Call of Duty. But the funniest thing here is this, right? This Sega is complaining but still playing the game though. I, I, I don't get it. And, and he's not the only one though. Everybody right now is like that. Everybody though. I used to be though. This is the first year. I, I don't wanna feel, I don't wanna sound like all sane and all like I, I'm above everybody or any. Nah, bro. Like this is the only, this is the first year, the only time I did not purchase Modern Warfare 3. The only time I did not purchase Call of Duty. And it, it kind of feels kind of like, ah, like this is therapeutic content for people that did not buy the game. Uh, cause this, for me, this is therapy. I love the sweet, sweet cries. You love the, I love the complaints. Even though the complaints are genuine, I get it though. Not disregarding the, those complaints, but, but like, damn though. Like, like, blame truth, bruh. Like, dog. Bro, like, 
yeah, you're promoting retard helmets to your fan base, telling them you can regrow your hair, when you know that's not true, right? Like, and now you playing the game, complaining, still playing, complaining, but still, still, still playing, complaining, complaining about skill missing, still playing the game with skill missing, like, like, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, damn, original uh, underpass as well. So I don't know, maybe I need a new prescription. Who knows? But uh, anyway, let's get into skill-based matchmaking again. Sorry, yes. I'm, I'm yes. Just, anyway, let's get into skill-based matchmaking again here. I'm sorry. Important I'm just, topic. I, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Stuck. I got stuck again. Stuck on the lip of that thing. Anyway, I watch a guy but Dro drop a drop a suplex to uh, on Joe Seacott or Joe Seacott suplex uh, or Seac uh, suplex Joe Seacott. Bruh. Bruh. Yeah. By the name of Prime Pete. Oh, okay, so Prime Pete. He makes some of the best videos. On skill-based matchmaking, but also just on gaming in general, he has better editing. Let's just call it like it is. He has better editing than a lot of channels I see out there with millions of subs. Uh, go check him out. Again, his name's Prime Pete. I found him by just the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm. One of his videos kind of went viral. He uh, posted a video just recently, which, which gave me a lot of hope, and I kind of want to pass it on to you guys. But I covered the fact that Microsoft buying Call of Duty, Activision, whatever, is a good thing. Uh, I think mm. that they have to see that this skill-based matchmaking system isn't working, and it's ramped yeah. up higher than it's ever been in Modern Warfare 3 here. Yeah, jo jokes aside, though, jokes aside, this is something that I, I was talking about, like, and having that discussion. Like, I'm not sure for how long a single Chad. Uh, some of you are probably not singles, so let's be real, but most of you probably are, guys. Right? Like, like, come on, man, who are we kidding, right? Like, stop lying, stop capping, as the kids would like to say. You're a single Chad, you are a single Chad, okay? But we were having this conversation a, a while ago that, bruh, Either there will be two scenarios. There are only gonna be two scenarios. Either number one, number A, I should say. Bruh. Like my name was Nero Shenema. Number A. Call of Duty is gonna turn out to be like Halo. They're gonna give it red fill, Halo treatment, 30 FPS, buggy. I, I mean, the game is already buggy. Like, how more? The game is already trash. How much more trash you can get? So, that number A possibility, very rare though. Very rare. Obviously, like, you're not gonna pay 70 billion to ruin a game. That's just like, you know, the odds are very low. But okay, anything goes, anything can happen in the video games industry. So, number A possibility. Number B possibility, though. Hey! Number B possibility is the most likely scenario where they're gonna do Call of Duty Justice. They're gonna make sure the game is actually good at launch. They're gonna make sure that everybody's loving it. Everybody's having fun. And they're gonna try, at least try. I'm not asking them to uh, listen to everybody. I'm just asking them to try and listen to their fan base a little bit. Like, oh, okay, half it through, let's just say, right? Like, just 50% of the time. Number B is very likely. Uh, we're and, and obviously one of the biggest complaint here is, hey, re remove skill base match, freaking tone that down. So maybe they're gonna listen to their fan base. I mean, I would have to believe that. I, in fact, I, I have that hope. Phil Spender. I mean, listen, yo, Phil Spender, make that happen, brother. Make that happen. Let me send you some. Let me send you some kishi boo boo. Let me send you some kishi baba. Here because the skill gap's higher than it's ever been, pretty much. Cold War and MW3 have the highest tuned skill based matchmaking, bar none, it's not debatable, and, and this one takes it a step further than Cold War, even. So, anyway, there's been some leaked emails pertaining to Phil Spencer and, and Call of Duty, and um, I, I don't want to uh, rip off Prime Pete's video here, but I do want to just kind of cover this information. Rumor has it that Phil Spencer, the Xbox you know, lead director, president, whatever the hell he is. Um, there's some, been some leaked emails, and I can't show them, obviously, but there's been some leaked emails talking about toning down skill-based matchmaking because it's negatively affecting the player base. Now, here's the thing. You might just say, well, that's a rumor. If you can't show proof, then why even bring it up or whatever? The reason I bring that up is because it is true that skill-based matchmaking is affecting this game's performance. I can't show you any more proof. I, I, yeah, I, I do, I would like to believe that it is affecting as well, though. On, on this one, I agree with him, and I agree with anybody that says that it is affecting the game, but uh, also, like, the another counter-argument, obviously, we gotta wait till the numbers comes out, and this time, I, we're not gonna have Activision uh, Investor Call, like, because they merged with Xbox, so we would have to listen to Microsoft Investor Call, and I'm not even sure if they're gonna give xbox that precedence or not because usually whenever xbox activision do their investor call they like to talk about call of duty their candy crush that your mom my mom everybody mom's playing nowadays you know what I'm saying? if you did not know candy crush is owned by activision Bruh. a lot of people always are shocked when they hear this for the first time and, and myself included when i heard that for the first time i was also shocked but 
here's the thing, right? Like they're gonna, Microsoft is gonna do their investor call, and during their investor call, we're gonna hear about how well Modern Warfare 3 did, how much money they made, how much uh, money they made, how much money they brought in with the microtransactions. Because every single year, despite skill-based mastering, they are absolutely killing it. I hate to say it, guys, like not my words. Oh, not, not, my, not my opinion, not my opinion, but these suckers are making crazy amount of money with this friendly Like with these $20, $30 bundles, they're making insane amount of money despite you trashing, despite me trashing, despite me complaining, despite you complaining, despite, let's not even say complaints, let's just say like how it is, like being, being a fan and giving them feedback and constructive criticism because that's what we're doing right here, right? Right, guys, right, guys, right, guys, right, right, yeah, 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 right. Like, you're right, I'm right, we're all right. Guys, smash the like button for that, <laughs> for that one. But, but here's the thing, though. This time, if the sales are down, yeah, whatever. But if the microtransaction numbers are down, then damn. If microtransaction sales are low, damn. If the microtransactions uh, revenue is down, then damn. That's when it's gonna hurt their pockets, and maybe they're gonna change something. But I think they know eh, eh, that they, this year's game was a DLC, so they're probably like, well, uh, this is a DLC, uh, b -b so yeah, w whatever. Next year, we're gonna try and make some decent amount of content, not the best content, decent amount of content, and we're still gonna have skill-based match again in the game. And that's when we're gonna AB, uh, that's when we're gonna AB test. And if it turns out that seconds are buying the game, seconds are loving the game, seconds are buying microtransactions with our extra, extra skill based management, then keep it in for another five years. We're sealing it. That's it. We're going to test it for another five years. And if somehow the sales goes down, microtransaction goes down, that's when we're going to consider. But the fact that Microsoft bought it, I have, I have hope. I have a little bit of hope right now. Maybe they're going to listen. Thoughts, Proof, guys? Then what is happening on Steam here? So let me just cut real quick. I, I can't show you any more concrete proof than this. Now, I, I want to cover specifically Modern Warfare 3's launch here. So Damn. it launched, and I, I saw it kind of at the peak of uh, 190,000 players, as you see on the side. And that is Modern Warfare 3 Warzone and Modern Warfare 2. What the actual F, bro? What the fuck? Dog! 488k is the same number when Modern Warfare 2 came out, right? That is insane, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Those of you that are like, bruh, bruh, bruh. Those of you that are like, hey, Skizzle, I'm a stud muffin, bro. Like, I'll get it. I don't understand the you know. I bought that retard helmet that uh, uh, Blame Truth was uh, promoting. So I don't get it, guys. Here, okay, in simple words, let me be real here, real quick. This is absolutely insane. So Activision did a thing where the player count is from Steam. And I get it, like some of you would say it's Steam. And yeah, it's Steam, right? Uh, it's not console. But you're not gonna believe it. The most amount of players are obviously on PlayStation, that you're gonna believe. But secondly, it's Steam. It is not Xbox. How do we know this? We know this from the FTC documents. When PlayStation and Xbox, Microsoft, Activision, all of them were fighting to acquire Call of Duty. And when Xbox was fighting to acquire Activision, numbers got leaked out and they said the most amount of players are on PlayStation, uh, PC, and Xbox. Although they never said like, uh, the, the, if it was like the chronological order, but this is how they mentioned PlayStation, PC, and Xbox. But they never really said, uh, in this order, like PlayStation at top, this and that. Or maybe they said, uh, th that was a while ago, but that's number one. Number two, though, this includes Modern Warfare 2, Warzone, and Modern Warfare 3. Bruh. So all of these three games combined, all time peak was 488,000, which is, I mean, damn, it's crazy. But you gotta factor in, Modern Warfare 2 hit that 488 peak, though. You feel what I'm saying? And Modern Warfare 3 just got added. And, and still though, with Modern Warfare 2, Warzone, which is free to play, and Modern Warfare 3, I mean, playing 35 minutes ago, it's like 106k, and it's a brand new game. I mean, it's a DLC, but they're calling it a brand new game. That is bad. That is looking bad for the game though side there then that's with guys that that's three games in one here that's with oh my god modern warfare 2 factored in and warzone 2 factored in i think they maintain around an average player base i think before mw3 came out of around 60 70 000 on steam so uh -huh. we can assume maybe 120 yeah i, I remember the all-time 488 so this number it was familiar to me and uh 60k and 106 damn that is insanely low though for call of duty insanely low but for an indie title 
amazing though for any other game it's kind of like amazing number uh but for call of duty that is insanely low thousand players maybe and that's being generous because i don't think that many people bought it i think a lot of that is just people coming back to mw2 uh, maybe then now that it's on sale or whatever maybe now that spmm's toned down or whatever or maybe they just don't want to buy the 70 dollars dlc expansion but if you look throughout the year i mean look at what modern warfare 2 launched with it launched with peak players around 260,000, and that was it alone in october and then with warzone 2 that brought it up uh nearly double to 488,000 yeah. players and ever since then we've been yeah bro like i when i saw this number i was like bro i seen that number before i remember this number i remember this number on a pretty massive decline of course you know things ramped up in october with the modern warfare 3 beta and of course things are going to ramp up with the launch of mw3 but we're already at 106,000 average players right now and Crazy, i mean no matter bro. how you slice it no matter how many excuses you make no matter what you say it's just steam well yada yada this definitely correlates to how the game actually performs yeah. modern warfare 2 sold incredibly well for example right like le let's just double the numbers real quick for playstation right let's just say 200k 200k uh let's double the number at 1 million on playstation i mean 106k there it's kind of like the ratio right you just gotta up the ratio on playstation but the but 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 the well, what's the what's the word what's the word the the entire thing i'm not getting that word right now it's not coming up in my dictionary uh, right now but the entire premise the premise is basically the same though it's it's low on steam it's also gonna be low on 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 playstation i know genius <laughs> genius i know genius guys i know genius genius it's also it's also gonna be low on playstation which is which is sad for call of duty and this is the first time i did not buy call of duty either so does that mean that i didn't buy it and uh this is why the numbers are low absolutely not absolutely not the reason is simple a lot of people haven't bought it this year one in the chat if you did not buy it two if you bought it i mean a lot of people still bought it a lot of people are gonna buy it. if it turns out to be like 40 bucks 30 bucks I might, I might though. Well, it was hyped so well, but you can see that it was all hype and no substance because the player base dropped dramatically, it, you know, as, as soon as January, hell, as soon as December, really. And that's just, that's not what you want out of your, your Juggernaut series, you know? And as you see here, as we go on, as we go on, this, this game just, it, there's no way it performed as well as MW2. And maybe it wasn't expected to be, but we can't sit here and, and lie to ourselves and say that the skill-based matchmaking helps player retention. Look at this. I mean, look look at yeah. that 42% drop in players from December to January. And Damn. also all these players that, that made uh, you know, the game peak at 190,000, I guarantee you a ton of those people refunded. I've never seen so many people talking about refunds until this game came out. And since this is considered a DLC on Steam, you can refund it up to a week after. So people can get their refunds even if they play it for five, six hours or whatever on Steam, which I think is great. Uh, great, but what? I, we can't sit here. No way, bro. That If that's true, that is a W, bro. <laughs> W to Steam, because I heard it wasn't it like two hours, uh, less than two hours, like one hour, 59 minutes, and you can get your refund. Damn, you can play for five, six hours and get a refund. I mean, listen, do not try this at home. Do not go all like ganging where you're like, okay, dude, I'm going to play Modern Warfare 3 for five, six hours and then ask for refund. And when you ask for refund, bumbleclad, you know, they're like, e -e -e -e, we're not going to give you a refund. You actually played it. You went strong independent, so therefore we're not gonna give you a refund. Nah, Brad, don't try this. Don't try that at home, though. And just say that skill-based matchmaking is good for player retention. We just can't make that excuse anymore. I've never seen such a fall in player retention with Modern Warfare 2. You could equate that to other stuff, too. You could equate it to just the poor, I guess, just the, the poor game mechanics in general. That definitely doesn't help anything, but no matter how crappy Call of Duty is, if there's no SBMM, I don't know about you guys, but at least I can goof off and have fun and like just kind of not take it too seriously and do stupid stuff. I, I genuinely feel like that the this time the game is not selling too well or not able to retain. Skill based match freaking definitely. I, I I hear I hear this argument where like the, the the entire reason they have skill based match freaking is because they want to retain the player uh, players and it's not doing its job. It's not effective at all. That I absolutely agree with. But secondly, I think the main reason people are like leaving this fast and, and quitting the game is because it's just the same game every single year. It's not fun. not and, uh, and that is not true for everybody. I'm pretty sure it's fun for a lot of people that are playing and sticking around. But for the majority, vast majority that are quitting, 
it's probably not fun for them it's the same game every single year and it's like the call of duty fatigue is kicking in this year is obviously no different it's modern warfare 3 feels like modern warfare 2 uh to a certain degree from what i've seen obviously i have not played so i cannot give you my opinion and review in that aspect from but from what i've seen i mean it does look pretty good in comparison to modern warfare 2022 but the content is still lackluster the content is not there zombies is not there although some people are saying zombies is fun it's growing on them i mean that's actually good to hear that's good to see but but it's still not the same it's not that the content is not there to convince the masses it's not buttering everybody toast you feel what i'm saying and this recently just happened Click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there because Activision, I don't know what, what's happening, man. Like, this is crazy, bruh. They are absolutely out of their goddamn minds. Click on this video and I'll see you right there.